What's up guys? Today's video, we are going to be doing a shop tour. A lot of people have been asking and we're not 100% done yet, but we have improved a lot. Um, I would have never thought that the program will be where it's at right now. Running Street Outlaw, No Prep Kings, having multiple cars, building a shop, extending the shop. Um, there's a lot of things that go into it. So we will be going inside the shop. We will give you a shop tour, basically showing you my day in and day out of my life. Um, I do, I live on my property. I wake up, I come out to the shop. The guys get here between seven and eight o'clock in the morning and we work till five, 5.30 in the afternoon. Uh, there's a lot of things that keep us busy, especially getting ready for season seven of street outlaw no prep kings but before we head into the shop if you ever look over there real quick jesse i'm gonna get a little bit bigger sign uh you see the swan gang on the door but uh i did have to put that there because of all the packages that were coming in we get a lot of shipments in amazon ups fedex we ship a lot of packages out and they ups drivers and fedex drivers they were really just dropping packages anywhere on the property so i had to go into the notes i had to call up all our carriers and basically tell them to deliver at the door that says swan gang on it we are going to get a bigger sticker i'm thinking about doing something on the side of the panels of the shop to be able to basically let people know that this is our facility but before we head into the shop real quick i'm going to come over here real fast because i just purchased a shop truck for the guys a lot of people has always asked me what is my daily driver my daily driver is a 2023 f450 right there behind me i did put some wheels and tires on it it is the same truck that got stolen last year during the season six of no prep kings i was able to get it back i put some money into it got everything fixed i love my dually the guys that are working for me jesse and austin they were driving it because i didn't have a truck for them to drive to be able to handle packages go pick stuff up make things happen for the swan gang and justin swanstrom racing so i went ahead last week you can see it right now i got them a truck this is a 2022 f350 stx we will be using this truck to carry the merch trailer we will be using this truck to be able to go pick up all our packages any kind of little small stuff we got to do you do see my 34 foot trailer over there um, we use that trailer to be able to transport the cars back and forth from chassis shops wiring shops wrap shops paint shops everything so we have gotten established to be able to have everything to be able to uh make make our lives easier make my life easier jesse let's roll over here real quick and let's open up this door and you can see inside here i just got it tagged uh everything's ready to go now we will uh maybe i'm not 100 sure yet the guys really don't get too dirty and when they do get dirty uh we're able to take showers and stuff here but uh you know it's got cloth seats so we're probably gonna put a seat cover on top of that but just wanted to show you all the new shop truck for them and i wanted to do that so i can get them out of my truck my truck was starting to rack up a lot of miles me carrying it on the road i put just a little over twenty five thousand miles on it last year alone and i don't want to do that no more so that is my personal truck this will be the new shop work truck for them and uh i think they're excited about it hopefully y'all are excited about it and let's go ahead and uh, move on so we're gonna roll over here and i'm gonna show y'all where my rig usually is so the rig is not here right now the rig is actually at bradenton motorsports park y'all seen the last video where we were testing for the first time i left the rig there because we are testing again tomorrow saturday down at bradenton motorsports park to get ready for season seven of street outlaw no prep kings if you uh, go ahead and pan over here real quick jesse so they can see so we built the pole barn extended it out be able to put stuff underneath it i extended the rear of the barn out so we can be able to get the trailer underneath it because the trailer is 56 foot the problem that we do have right now is dogs are after the bird the problem we do have right now is the trailer is underneath the port everything's good the truck does stay out here so i am about to extend this out forward to be able to keep the truck underneath it the pollen the stuff falling from the trees it does mess the truck up we have to wash it 
you know, a lot of times, uh, just got, got done taking it through the blue beacon, got it all cleaned up, but we're ready to go. So we're all good to go there. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into the shop and show y'all around and show you my office, show you the podcast room and everything we got going on. It is a little crowded right now. So uh, I'll take, take my glasses off. Go ahead and open this up. We get some light up in here. So let's go ahead and start off with where we begun. Uh, my racing career started in the little two car port shop that we have up front. Uh, we'll show you that at the end of the video. We decided to build this pole barn back here. Um, it is 50 foot deep and it was a, let's see, where were we at? We were, so they're a 12 foot base. So one, two, three, four. So it was 50 by 48, I apologize. It was a 50 by 48 uh, concrete slab. Everything was in here and that's what we were working out of. Over the years, you know, we have accumulated a lot of cars, a lot of motors, a lot of parts. I built a podcast room. I built a merchandise room. That took a lot of space over here. So coming into the end of 2023 and the beginning of 2024, I decided that I wanted to expand the shop. Um, I basically took it out from 50 by 48. Now it is 50 by 84 foot. When we get around the other side of the podcast room, we will show you. And that's basically where we keep all the cars, where we're working on it. This side over here, we keep fuel. We keep everything. Um, it is a little crowded right now, as you can see. Come over here and look at this. Um, this is all the, all the used parts, guys. Um, I am going to take the used parts this year. And I am going to... Uh, be throwing them in orders and they will be available on the website soon for people to buy from crankshafts to uh you know rods pistons rings um i mean there's the broke crank right there that we broke at uh texas last year we did win the race but we destroyed the crank destroyed the motor so that stuff there you will be able to purchase and in some of it i will just be throwing in orders as a thank you for everybody that supports what we got going on uh vp just got our shipment in we're getting ready for season seven of street outlaw no prep king so that kind of what you know you see this over here uh we come around the golf cart this is todd's golf cart uh we got it for him uh, to be able to push his car around right now. Sir Vincent is at the paint and body shop. It should be done here in a couple weeks. Once it's done, it will be back over here. We will be putting it all together so we can head to Justin at Modern Racing. Over here to the right of me, you can see prenup. It is right in between the brand new lift that we just installed the shop. That's something that I just got in about a month ago. It's something I wanted to get done. I wanted to put two lifts in the shop. One, to be able to get cars up off the ground, to be able to still make some room. And two, to be able to work on them. Prenup is about to get loaded up in a trailer and head up to Wizard Race Cars because we got some updates that we have to do to the car. And I'm trying to make it to where it's compatible with the new 1969 Camaro, as in motor mounts, motor placement, everything. So we will be making some updates on this car. But as of right now, it basically just sits over here. We try to keep it clean, try to look at it. It does not have nothing in it. There's no motor, no transmission, no converter. When we get ready to race it again, and it is soon, it is soon there's a small tire deal coming up we will be running that let's head on into my office real quick this is the merch room um i do not handle my merch no more guys um it has gotten too big for me i'm not gonna lie i i tried to have my hands on every little thing and i basically just came to the conclusion with everything that's going on this deal has grown so big that I wasn't able to handle it. So I have now a fulfillment company that fulfills all my merch and makes sure all the orders are taken care of and they've been knocking it out the park. I think we are in a three to four day turnaround right now to be able to get orders out after you purchase. But you can see, I still carry some stuff. I still keep stuff here. What we got going on, we just got new straw hats in that you'll be able to purchase at MPK. What's up, Oakley? You want to go play? I'll play with you later. We just got new uh, straw hats in. We got swan gang glasses. Uh, we got cups. 
but there's gonna be a lot of stuff. I bought a 32 foot merch trailer. You do not see it right now at the shop because it is getting wrapped. We're supposed to pick it up in a couple of days. Um, if we look over here, this is my computer. This is where I do all my editing. This is where I, you know, figure everything out. Um, I sit down here while the guys are working in the shop and I go through invoicing, you know, paying bills, getting everything ready for what we need to do to be able to keep moving forward with this. Um, the last thing I was watching was watching the test video. Hopefully y'all were watching it on the channel. I love to watch my videos back. I think Bad Blood was awesome that first night and I can't wait to test it again. But this is where basically everything happens. I do keep a, a board to be able to keep notes, videos, content, um, people that I owe, people that owe me, and just keep going through. We also, we threw this thing up. Um, that's something that I was pretty big on uh, and I wanted to look at it every time I came in here. It made me want to keep pushing forward and keep moving forward. And that was the grind, the hustle, and the execution. If you got those three, you can have a very successful business to keep moving forward. And anybody out there can do it. I'm not going to say it's going to happen overnight. I've been four years into this deal with my own company, Swan Productions and Justin Swanstrom Racing. It does not happen overnight, but stick with it. If you believe in it, you believe in yourself, you will make it happen. Look at this right here. These are on the website right now, guys. JustinSwanstrom69.com. So let's just go ahead and show y'all the podcast room real quick. A lot of people have been asking if the podcast is coming back. Go on. Go. Go lay down. A lot of people have been asking, is the podcast room coming back? And if we're going to be shooting podcasts? And the answer is yes. I built this room for the podcast. We will be taking the podcast on the road. We will be trying to get special guests such as Ryan Martin, Kai Kelly, Lizzie Musi, Murder Nova. Um, I'm going to be talking with them. I've kind of talked with a few of them. They said they'd love to do it. So we will be having the podcast on the road and we will be coming back. But if you go ahead and look real quick, I did build a little podcast room here. Got our trophies, got our little swan for our swan gang. And we do have special guests that come in to be able to uh, shoot a podcast with us. We've been slacking a little bit on the podcast videos. I'm not going to lie. It's just gotten to the point. It's kind of where another thing is. It's getting bigger than I am and I can't do everything. I do read the comments. I do see y'all commenting saying, I need to hire an audio guy, I need to hire a video guy. And I'm in the process of doing that, but it takes time. I want to get the right people in and I want to get the right people that want to help grow this thing and make it as successful as I think it can be. But this is the podcast room. Um, came out badass. I love it. And let's go ahead and head over to the other side of the shop. Uh, as you can see over here, the only cars that we have in the shop right now is Preed Up and the Pro Mod Blood Money. Y'all got to see us run it down there at Bradenton Motorsports Park. We did not do too good with it. Um, but we will have another chance to run it soon. Another thing, we just try to keep it clean, rolled up in here. As for our shelf, we try to keep all our stuff. We got our RC comp wheels. We have our white safety, um, our shocks, our batteries, our VP oil. Shout out to VP for helping us out. We run our Hoosier tires. This is kind of the place where we keep the parts that will be going inside the trailer to get ready for the season. We have spare set of wheels and tires for the Camaro that will be going in there. We'll be carrying transmissions with us this year. So we got two transmissions right there on the ground. We have a spare screw blower. It does got a little bit of dust on it. We will be cleaning it up. Uh, that's something that I'm gonna be working on next week is getting this blower fully suited up and ready to go so we have spares in the trailer uh coming over here we got a spare lift this side of the shop just got like this this will be all cleaned up like i said we've been working on the shop trying to get everything ready and this side will be cleaned up our lat transmission fluid that'll be moving my goal is is to be able to make a little bit more room to be able to put all our lubricants and our fuel in one little area so everything's right beside each other over here is our part shelf for the cars if you see we have four cars we got prenup sir vincent blood money and bad blood. So I go ahead and itemize it out. Everything you see there is for those cars. When we take stuff off, when we're putting stuff on, we had to come up with something to be able to stay organized. When you have multiple cars, 
uh, it does get a little bit more difficult. You got multiple transmissions, multiple rear gears, multiple converters, multiple engines. We now have four Noonan screw blown Hemi motors. We have three screw blowers. We have four transmissions. We got five rear center sections. Shout out to Quick Performance for helping us out throughout the years, getting our center sections and everything ready. Um, it is a little crowded right now because like I said, we were cleaning the shop up. You got my toolbox that looks like hell. We will get that cleaned up. If we come over here, here is the spare motor that we will be taking with us this year for season seven. I've already freshened it up. It's already ready to go. It will get put on a stand and then it'll get set in the trailer. Just the same thing as the blower. Um, I'll be freshening the blower up, getting it all ready, and that will be going in the trailer as well. We're gonna be gone for a lot of weeks, guys. Um, I believe we got six races back to back for the start of the season. And then we are off for, I believe, two weeks, and then we're back on the road for again. So we have to make sure we have enough stuff in the trailer to last us because me living in Florida, I can't keep coming back and forth. It costs too much in fuel. Um, there was one comment that I seen, how much money do you think you spent fuel last year? Carrying the both rigs, I spent just a little over $55,000 in diesel fuel to be able to run season six. But we'll get this area a little bit cleaned up. But as you can see, this is kind of, you know, the idea of what we got going on. We got probably my most favorite thing in the shop. I'm not gonna lie. There's some, there's a couple little small things that I wanted to do when I did this extension. And that was put a damn sink in it. We could be able to clean our hands. That, I, I don't care. You know how many times you're in a shop and your hands are so dirty and you got oil all over them and then you just go over there and finger touch everything? So I told the guys, and even me, I use that sink religiously. It's the best thing I ever did. The other thing I wanted to do was put a refrigerator in. We keep stuff stocked. I keep everything down below. And I tell people all the time, I do not mind anybody that comes and gets something to drink. But if you take something out, all you gotta do is get down here and put something back in. That's the only thing I ask. If you come to the shop and you take out a drink or take out something, just put it back in. And for the most part, I have stuff below the shelf ready to go. The other thing I like about the shop is, is I put a TV in here. It helps us out throughout the day. We're able to listen to music. We got a surround system inside the shop. We also watch our movies, you know, later on if we get bored, we come in here, I get pizza, I get wings for the guys and we'll watch a movie or we'll watch YouTube videos. We're real big, you know, watching Cletus's page, Joe Rogan's podcast, uh, the Nelk boys. We, we have a couple people that we like to watch and we stay with it. Um, um, as for the lofts, we just keep all our spare stuff up there. We have two rooms, so I built two lofts to be able to keep storage up there because everything being on the floor, you run out of room pretty damn quick. Um, so yeah, man, it's, it's, it's came along. It's, it's doing pretty badass. Uh, I'm about to extend the shop one more time. I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do because we're starting to get a little bit crowded with all four cars in here and, uh, I don't know if I want to go out that way or if I want to go out that way, but uh, check out the flag, Jesse. I'll just put that in here. We love the country we live in um, and shout out to everybody that has made it possible for us to do what we do. The people that have made sacrifices to allow us to live in the country that we live in and have the freedom that we have. Um, so thank you and uh, appreciate that. But let's go back here real quick. Let's open this door. I'll show you uh, the gravel millens that I just put outside. I tried to, I tried to think a lot of the stuff out guys. One thing that we always had an issue was when we had that side of the shop over there, we would have to pull the rig always out, unload it and unload the car in. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna extend this side of the shop. I'm gonna put a door back here, spend the money to be able to put the millions down. Me and my dad, we were able to knock this out, roll it all in, get everything done. And now the rig stays over there. We unload the car and we literally just drive it into the shop. And then now we're able to drive over there, come in here, do whatever we need to do. But then when we're done, we pull the cars back out of this bay and we put them back in the trailer. So it's made it extremely helpful to be able to get our job done and keep moving forward with it. But 
Um, we have, like I said in the beginning of the video, it is now a 50 by 84. So, um, I don't know the calculations off my head, guys. But, uh, you know, we have a couple thousand square foot to be able to play with. We are about to expand again. Um, we got some more goodies coming to the channel and uh can't wait to do that but i wanted to just give y'all a quick little shop tour of what we do what we got going on we do stay busy like i said we usually work between seven and eight o'clock in the morning till 5 5 30 in the afternoon um we're about to leave to head on the road so that's why i'm telling the guys we need to get the shop cleaned up when we get back we'll have a clean shop to come to so we're gonna get you know our last little bit of stuff finalized and then we'll get everything cleaned up so we can hit the road because we're going to be on the road for multiple weeks so hopefully y'all enjoyed the shop video guys and uh if you haven't done already make sure you subscribe turn that bell notification on and let's keep growing this thing man we're on the road to a hundred thousand subscribers we're getting ready for street outlaw season seven no prep kings we have a badass car we got a badass rig we got badass motors and we have a badass operation and i can't wait to go out there and see what we can do this year thank y'all guys for tuning in i'm justin swanstrom and i'll see y'all later all right, guys, before we completely exit out of this video, I was talking about in the beginning of the video, like where we started, what we got going on. As you can see, this is the two port garage uh, where kind of my career started back in the day. Um, I'm going to try to find a photo and see if I can pull a photo up of where we had going on uh, at the time. But, you know, you can see we have expanded a lot. Um, I have grown this deal pretty damn big but i wouldn't be able to do this without y'all you know y'all are what drives this thing to keep on going i can't wait to come see y'all at events this year we are traveling the country i have some special stuff that i'm wanting to do with fans this year you're just gonna have to wait and to let me go ahead and plan it all out but i promise you i think it's gonna be a fun year i'm excited for it i'm ready to see what happens how we can go about it and let's see if we can uh Go win us a championship. That's the ultimate goal is to win a championship, show off for our sponsors, keep moving forward with it, and keep making y'all happy. We'll see y'all later.